Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about smart contracts, explaining the basics of them, and then also answering the question whether or not Caspa needs smart contracts for the future. So let's go ahead and get right into the basics. So to start, what are smart contracts? A smart contract is a self-executing program that automates the actions required in a blockchain transaction. Once completed, the transactions are trackable and irreversible. The best way to envision a smart contract is to think of a vending machine. When you insert the correct amount of money and push an items button, the program, the smart contract, activates the machine to dispense your chosen item. Here are things you need to know. Smart contracts are scripts that automate the actions between two parties. Smart contracts do not contain legal language, terms, or agreements, only code that execute actions when specified conditions are met. Nick Sable, an American computer scientist who conceptualized a vir virtual currency called Bitgold in 1998, defined smart contracts as computerized transaction protocols that execute the terms of a contract. Smart contract is somewhat of a misnomer. These programs are neither smart nor a contract. And that is very true. Smart contracts can actually be very complex. But when you think of smart contracts within the cryptocurrency world, a lot of people think of Ethereum because in 2015, when Vitalik proposed the Ethereum white paper, the goal of Ethereum was making a settlement base layer for smart contracts to exist. You could see here it says the intent of Ethereum is to create an alternative protocol for building decentralized applications, providing a different set of trade-offs that we believe will be very useful for a large class of decentralized applications. And smart contracts, the main goal is to pretty much make this decentralized applications, or in other words, known as dApps. And also Ethereum was known to create something called EVM, or in other words, an Ethereum virtual machine. You see the code in Ethereum contracts is written in a low level stack based bytecode language referred to as Ethereum virtual machine code or EVM code. Coinbase here has a pretty good definition for the EVM. It says Ethereum virtual machine or EVM is a piece of software that executes smart contracts and computes the state of the Ethereum network after each new block is added to the chain. The EVM sits on top of Ethereum's hardware and node network layer. Its main purpose is to compute the network state and to run and compile various types of smart contract code into a readable format called bytecode. This makes it possible for smart contracts deployed on EVM compatible chains like Polygon or Avalanche to be recognized by Ethereum nodes and allows developers to port their dApps or tokens over from Ethereum to other EVM compatible chains with relative ease. So being EVM compatible basically allows you to port anything that exists on the Ethereum network that is built on top of it onto your network. And this is actually the approach that Caspa is going to be taking in the very near future to enable smart contracts on Caspa. Some common things that smart contracts are used for are things like NFTs, non-fungible tokens. These are just basically JPEGs that are recorded on the blockchain itself to certify who actually owns the picture that is on the blockchain and and people just create what kind of value they think these nfts have depending on who is the creator pretty much personally i believe that they're pretty pointless but nonetheless there's always going to be someone out there that's going to think these nfts are valuable in some way another application that you can use smart contracts for are for prediction markets which I think is actually a very useful idea. Personally, I'm not in the predicting business and really don't like to gamble my money like that. But there's something called poly market, which is a prediction market. And this utilizes smart contracts to enable people to predict certain things of random events like the NBA championship or a US recession in 2025. And when you log into a site like this, you don't actually have to log in 
with your Google account or email, you can literally log in with a decentralized app like MetaMask or Phantom Wallet. And these wallets are built to communicate with the Ethereum blockchain because they are EVM compatible. And pretty much this is how you can fund your account when you are using Polymarket. And you don't really need to have any type of KYC to use Polymarket. You could just straight up connect your wallet to this application and whatever money you have in your wallet, you can use it on this site. So that is the power of smart contracts. It enables you to create applications that can connect to sites. And then one of the biggest markets that I believe smart contracts are going to be very useful for when it comes to Caspa is the stablecoin market. I actually made a video talking about the biggest market Caspa needs to tap into. And if we look at how much stablecoins make up of the cryptocurrency volume in the last 24 hours, they usually make up over 80% of the daily volume. You could see here that in the last 24 hours, there's been about $204 billion of trading volume. And if we were to check the stablecoin market, you can see that the trading volume for stablecoins is sitting at $140 billion. So if Caspa was to tap into this market, which I think is super important for it to do, we're talking about Caspa tapping into $100 billion worth of trading volume. And as of recording, Tron is typically known as one of the main network layers for smart contracts to be utilized and to operate USDT stablecoin. And personally, I believe Tron is an inferior network compared to Caspa. It's centralized, it's proof of stake, and it's actually very expensive when using USDT. And if Caspa could capitalize on stable coins, I think we could truly see Caspa work its way to becoming a top 10 cryptocurrency just on the basis of enabling stablecoin support, which smart contracts are very useful for. Recently, Congress in America has passed this new act called the Genius Act of 2025, which will permit banks to handle or issue stablecoins according to what the law allows. The law also forces stablecoin issuers to do a monthly audit of their reserves to prove one-to-one -one backing. I have made the case that the stablecoin market is only going to get bigger. Stablecoins will ultimately aid in keeping US dollar dominance. This is why Caspa needs to capitalize on this market and showcase how it is the ultimate network to handle stablecoins. In doing so, this would be a huge onboarding incentive to use the Caspa network, furthering Caspa adoption growth. Now, what is the current state of smart contracts in the Caspa world? And does Caspa already have smart contracts? And is it actually necessary for Caspa to have them? So if you don't already know, Caspa already has a way to create tokens and to create nfts on the network but the way cas was able to create this is not via smart contracts it's actually via a casplex protocol that was created to specifically work for caspa alone to create these tokens and nfts now what is the difference when it comes to creating tokens and nfts on caspa now and why it could be different later if we were to enable smart contracts. Well, the main difference is because smart contracts that are coming to Caspa are going to be EVM compatible, meaning that it will allow a lot of developers that have already spent a lot of time on the Ethereum network creating certain applications to easily just port their applications directly onto Caspa and not have to start completely from scratch. And this will just basically enable Caspa to reach a wider audience. And so why does Caspa need smart contracts? Well, personally, I believe that Caspa can utilize smart contracts to bring in a lot more use cases, which will increase the amount of fees that are being produced for miners so that Caspa can actually remain sustainable when it comes to the security funding. We already know the mission schedule is rapidly declining every single month. And because of Crescendo, the block reward got divided by 10. So each block only contains about 5.50 Caspa. And of course, you are now able to find a lot more blocks than previously if you are solo mining. But it would be great if we're not only reliant on the price right now to increase security funding, but also more 
fees being created because more people are using the Casper network for certain applications. So as of recording, what is the current state of smart contracts for Casper? What is actually in the works? And so I'm going to go over a few things that are in the works. And then hopefully in the future, I'm going to be making dedicated videos to explain a little bit more in depth of these different projects. The first one is IGRA Labs. It says here, Defy DeFi, in other words, decentralized finance limitations. And it says here that IGRA will unlock next generation of dApps and protocols for Caspa. You got real time on chain apps protected by Bitcoin grade security, MEV resilient, which is actually something we're going to talk about in a dedicated video and interoperable layer two. So IGRA Labs is going to be a layer two solution. But, but the great thing about these layer two solutions on Caspa is mainly that they're going to be using the layer one in a lot more ways than traditionally other layer twos that have been created on things like Ethereum have been used in the past. So some other things that smart contracts will enable on the Casper network are things like an on-chain decentralized exchange so that you can swap Casper into other tokens or other stable coins and stuff like that all on the Casper network itself because smart contracts will be your middleman it will be your line of code to enable these kind of swaps and you don't got to be reliant of some middleman to actually swap your currency into something else recently igra labs even posted this saying that escalated quickly we now have 34 builders across 21 teams in our dev discord working on everything from network analytics to bridges stable coins and perpetual dexes this community is our biggest motivator and so igra labs is just a testament to show that when you start to build smart contracts on caspa it actually attracts a lot more developers to build more things on Caspa, and it's mainly being that this is making Caspa EVM compatible. Next, we have Sparkle, which is a smart contract project that is set to release in summer of this year. And this video actually has a recording of Aspect going over what Sparkle would mean for Caspa. And then last but not least, we have Casplex here that is focusing on building a layer two that's going to be ZK EVM compatible. It's going to be the first based rollup layer two for Caspa. These are also other terms that we're going to go over in other videos like based rollups. And also Casplex is building a new VM and says a lightweight, high performance VM optimized for scripting automation, IoT and gaming on Caspa. So ultimately, smart contracts are going to be very useful for Caspa as they will attract a lot more developers to start building a lot more use cases, which will then attract a wider audience to start using the Caspa network. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And before we go, if you have not considered getting yourself a Tandrum card, they have developed these Caspa exclusive limited wallets. And if you use the code Caspa Silver at the checkout, you will receive 10% off your order. I do receive a commission for this and it greatly does help support the channel. Tandrum is a great way to keep your Caspa offline and off exchanges. Whenever you keep your Caspa on exchange, you may or may not ever see your funds again if the exchange was to go bankrupt because you don't actually have full ownership of your Caspa. So it's very, very important that you do self custody your Caspa and Tandrum is a great way to do so. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Thank you again for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And as always, don't be average, be different.